Okay, this is part two of the network layer architecture that uh, you need to understand to help um, pass the CCNA, Cisco CCNA, and this is network fundamentals too. I mean, even if you're not uh, planning on being certified in any kind of network certification, this is kind of stuff that just like foundational stuff you need to know. Um, so where we left off is we were we were trying to make sense of this chart, and we've got. Uh, two models here, OSI model and TCP IP model. The OSI model is listed in seven layers. TCP IP model has four layers that we usually don't identify by number, we identify those by name. So you've got the network access, the internet, transport, and application layer. And then the OSI model is typical to say layer one, layer two, layer three, but then we have the names here for them also. We talked about the protocol data units that are at each layer. We talked about some of the protocols that function at each layer. And there's many more protocols than just listed here. These are just um, some of the basics here. And, um, and they're not all protocols. Like when I put media and medium here, that's not a protocol, right? Uh, I just stuck it in there because it's, it's nice to know that at layer one, we're talking about if they, in, if they say media or medium, they're talking about layer one, they're talking about the wire radio waves, cables, hubs, but this is not a protocol per se. Okay, so um, let's talk about the network devices that happen in each layer, and this is really helpful in answering lots of questions and, and, and doing well on network tests. If we're talking about the cables, right, or we're talking about the wires, whatever they are, or fiber optic cables, or radio waves, we're talking about layer one, the physical layer. All right, also a hub, which um, you know you don't see hubs around too much anymore, they also function at layer one. The reason that hubs function at layer one is um, you can plug your devices into them, but the hubs uh, have are not smart. They don't know uh, about uh, who plugs into them. They don't know about MAC addresses or IP addresses or anything, so they're not very smart, and uh, they're just retiming and regenerating signals oftentimes, and so they function at layer one. Also, a NIC. If you have a network interface card, where your cable plugs into the NIC is a layer one um, function of a NIC. You can see here the NIC functions also at layer two. At layer two, the NIC f functions because the NIC has burned in MAC address in the NIC. So it's a layer two issue right there. Uh, the fact that you have a NIC with a MAC address, that makes it layer two. All right, network devices, switches. Uh, switches are very popular. You have a switch in any network that's probably over, you know, six, five, six computers, you'll have a switch. Um, the switch is able to record a MAC addresses in a MAC address table. So a switch knows about MAC addresses, and a switch is responsible for delivering the data to the final destination to the NIC, to the computer, by way of the MAC address. So um, you need to have a MAC address to have a final delivery of a package of packets to your computer. And switch knows about MAC addresses. Switch does not know about IP addresses. IP addresses are the role of the router. The router knows about IP addresses. Um, it can uh, take apart the router when it's received. will take apart and strip off the header, the packet header, to get to the IP address and to the subnet mask. And from the IP address and the subnet mask, the router is able to figure out what network you are on. That's the role of the router. The role of the router is to find the best path and then switch the, pack, the packet to the interface for that network. So path determination, if you see that word on the test, path determination or best path, well, a path, another word for a path is a route. You know, you can say, I'm taking this route or I'm taking this path. Well, if you talked about routes, if you're talking about IP addresses, right, you're talking about packets, you're talking about layer three, the network layer, or in the TCP IP model, the internet layer. Okay? Routers are only concerned with IP addresses. Routers do not concern themselves with MAC addresses. All right? Okay, and then here at uh, layer four, I've put here layer four switches. Um, there is such a thing as a layer four switch, which is a basically a switch and a router put together. So it can do, um, it has ports for switching, for, and it also has uh, router capabilities, interfaces for routing data out of different networks. So I put their layer four switch. Also, we have devices called um, firewalls, and firewalls are, um, firewalls are routers that have um, uh, capabilities of, um, a firewall is a router that can read 
layer 4 data and also can read data that's happening at higher levels all the way up to layer 7. So a firewall can filter packets based on um, viruses, based on certain other things that happen at higher levels. Right? So a firewall could go all the way up, I guess, to layer 7. Um, all right, uh, and we'll move over here. And keywords by layer. If, if you see network applications, services, programs, peer-to-peer -peer applications, you know you're talking about the application layer. If we're talking about reliable, connection-oriented, end-to-end delivery, flow control, those are all keywords that in this case are dealing with the transport layer. So it's important to keep that in mind as you're taking a test or you know you're working network layer. If you hear the, if you hear the word logical addressing, you know um, if you hear the word logical addressing, excuse me, that just jumped. If you hear the word logical address or logical addressing, then you know you're dealing with the network layer and IP addresses. If you hear IP, you know you're talking about the network layer. Okay, so that um, that anything to deal with IP addresses, or logical addresses, you're talking about the network layer. If the the word um, best path appears in in the question, you know that you're talking about routers, right? Path determination. You know you're talking about routers, and you're talking about layer three, the network layer. Okay. Um, data link layer. If you see the word physical address, you know you're talking about the data link layer. If you see media access or um, network access or the word network access control or media access control which is Mac for short, you know you're talking about the data link layer, right? This is the layer of frames, right? If you, uh, if you hear the word frame, you know you're talking about the data link layer. Now, if you're talking about the physical layer, the, the um, bottom layer, the physical layer, the word bits, media, medium, that all identifies the physical layer. Let's take a look at this graph and We'll talk about this graph in the next movie.